Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. So in this particular tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to divide two columns from two different tables. I've received a couple of comments on my uh, tutorials asking me to how to divide two different columns. So that's why this particular tutorial, I hope this video helps you. So let's get started with this tutorial. So guys, before I start this tutorial, I want to let you know that I have uploaded more than 100 tutorials on my YouTube channel, which is MI Tutorials. Now these 100 plus tutorials are going to help you out with your real life problems when you're working with Power BI or if you have any queries, you can refer to these 100 plus videos which are available on my channel and I continue to upload new videos every week. So please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any new tutorials. Let me show you the uh, tables that I have before I begin with this tutorial. So one, one table I have wherein I have my order ID and quantity and the on the other sales table I have order ID, order date and sales. So that's what I have over here and this is my sales table and this is my quantity table. Now since my quantity is in a different table and my sales in different table, I would like to identify the unit price uh, for the particular sales that has happened here. So let's get started on the sales table. I'm going to go here and click on new measure. This is extremely simple uh, measure to create. So I'm going to calculate the unit underscore price is equals to I'm going to start with divide uh, function over here. So it's asking me to enter the numerator. So numerator is going to be sum of my sales amount. Okay. So this is the numerator. If you have a measure already for the sales amount, you can directly enter the measure uh, over here. Since I do not have uh, any other uh, measure over here for the sales amount, I'm using the sum feature over here. And then it's asking me to enter the denominator. Please note that you need to enter comma here and not the uh, actual divide function. It is a comma over here. And then I'm going to type in sum quantity and quantity okay then I'm going to close the bracket once close it again twice to close this particular bracket and press enter so once you have that you will get a new measure created so let's pull this over here into the table that we have and you will see that we've now identified the unit price of the sales that have happened depending on the quantity over here so that's it guys in this particular tutorial I hope this video has helped you you've learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials 